Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel and if you are seeing this face for first time, hi my name is Borna. I make videos on makeup and lifestyle and from the title itself you must be knowing that today I am going to do first impression on Bellora Paris. And now is the most exciting segment we are going to see that is review on Bellora Paris No Evidence Liquid Matte Lipsticks. So I have got Hazelnut, Beetroot Mauve and Sangria Love and all these lipstick I will be trying in front of you. So before swatching and reviewing the products, let me take you through the packaging first. So this is how the cardboard box and this is how we, it's all label, ingredients details, manufacturing details, shelf life and its price and its claims mentioned everything in this box itself. So the price of this product is $5.99 and again I got it in discount for $4.49 and this lipstick contains 4.5 ml of liquid lipstick and these are the shades that I am going to swatch and review for you. Now before swatching it I really want to make a comparison with Smashbox always on liquid lipstick. Now you'll be thinking always on liquid lipstick can be compared with these. Let's just try because when I got this and I opened I felt like this is quite similar in packaging wise with Smashbox uh, always on liquid lipstick and let's just compare and see how they are and whether it is comparable or not that we will be seeing in a moment. So I am already wearing Smashbox liquid lipstick in the shade Big Spender. If you carefully see these two looks really very really similar size wise. Though it is having a black cap it is having a metallic cap but look wise they are quite similar. Now the price of Smashbox is around 2100 whereas the price of Bellora Paris is just $5.99. There is a huge difference in their price segment. So we'll just test out whether these two perform exactly the same or not. As they claim, they are matte in formula and they will stay long on your lips. Let's just see formula wise they are same or not. So I have been wearing this shade for around two and a half hours by now. If you see in mirror, I quite find the application is still fresh how I apply it and I don't feel this is drying. The formula is quite light on the lips and you would get one swipe pigmentation. Now I'll remove this and test out Pelora Paris one, whether these two are comparable or not. Now if you see up close, both of them having similar kind of do food applicator and Smashbox one is tiny bit long whereas this one is tad bit smaller than Smashbox one. I'll start swatching the first shade and this is Hazelnut. So on application, I quite felt similarity with Smashbox one. This gives me the same vibe when I use Smashbox always on liquid lipstick. This quite feels same on application. And both of them claim that they are non-transferable. So let's just test out that. There is nothing. So definitely as per its name that no evidence liquid matte lipstick, this stood up okay. And definitely this is matte and application wise also this is quite similar to Smashbox one. But there is a minor difference in their formula. This is tad bit drying on lips whereas Smashbox one is totally lightweight on lips. I do feel that my lipstick started to dry down and my lips are dry a little bit. This is the only difference. 
But if you compare their price segment, Smashbox is 2100 and Valora Pantis is just 599 So I think I can adjust with that fact. And now we shall see the next two shades. And the next shade that I'm going to try is Beetroot Mop. This really feels creamy on application. And this liquid lipstick does have pigments. So this shade in particular is quite red tone. This definitely would suit medium to deep complexion very nicely. And I really like how the shade it is. And the next shade that I'm going to try is Sangria Love. So let's have a swatch comparison. So this is hand swatch of the shade. The first one is Sangria. The second one is Beetroot Love. Third one is Hazelnut, which I'm currently wearing. And this is Smashbox Big Spender. Now let's just quickly sum up this review. I must say that I definitely like this lipstick. Though this is a bit drying on lips, but this is quite comparable with Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick and there is a huge huge difference in the price segment but formula and finish wise they are quite similar and considering the fact that this comes in fraction of its price I must say you must give them a try because this is really matte and this will give you pigmentation and I find their shade range is quite versatile they do have deep shade, nude shade so anyone from any skin tone can pick one shade for them I shall be providing their buying links in the description box in case if you want to a big discount then give it a try Overall, I'm quite happy with my purchase and I must say that you should definitely try Valora Paris in this Navratri. So if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and also share it with your friends and family. And also subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification button so that you don't miss any of my contents. So for today, it's a bye and I shall be seeing you in another video. Till then, you take care and bye bye.